to. There's lots of cars in front of him. Down to the hairpin, and Mostert going the long way, Alex, but he's just trying to steal a little bit of road. Never going to get around the outside there, but you can always get a good run out of the corner by taking the wider line, so he'll be looking to get a toe down the long straight. Replay of the start with Nick Foster. Went right, went left, and around through the grass around Nathan Morecambe, who got the Rondo car going again and still hung on to the spot. Obviously, he wants, to, he wants to finish the championship off and not risk anything, but he'll be out there trying to win a race as well. He's risking. He's going around the outside through the sweeper, <laughs> up the inside of Ash Walsh, and along for the ride is Cameron Waters, driving for the Sonic Motor Racing team down the inside on Ash Walsh in the Spectrum chassis, so the Magal goes in between the two Australian-built cars. Cameron Waters is getting a nice big stream off uh, Chase Mostert. Oh, big. that was tight. Nearly knocked the nose cone off there. Big dive down the inside at the last minute, but he's got the job done and the nose cone's still on. Back under the bridge towards the hairpin. This fight at the front continues. Waters, Mostert, Walsh, Jeff Urain. Another of the Sonic cars is next. Then it's Trent Harrison. Mostert, though, Alex, looks really strong in a straight line. And look at Walsh. Grabs that spot as well, so Waters goes back to third. For Cameron Waters, but he should know that Chaz Mostert will drive straight up the inside. You know he's always going to, and he's going to have a big crack up the outside. He's going to try to give it everything he's got, even though you know it's going to be difficult. He's going to have to go really deep under brakes and pinch across and steal some road. Mostert's locked up. Waters is going oh, no. straight off the road, so a second place is gone. He'll be lucky to get fourth or fifth here, but out in front, Chaz Mostert will hang on an inch closer to that championship. Walsh is second, Jeff Urain in third spot. But for Cameron Laywith, but the wet weather will turn it on. Ash Walsh makes the best of the jumps. Mostert a little slow away. Good start too. Tom Williamson, red number eight car. We go on board with Nick Foster looking back at National Series debutant Matthew Hart. You've got to be really, really careful. You can see the spray already. Sheer makes a mistake, nearly takes the championship leader out but he's out through the grass and losing spots. The challenging conditions soon took its toll on the race. Oh, Shay Davies straight off the road, straight into the Armco and straight into the mud pit. Not a good spot to go off. It looks like something could have gone wrong with the, the car. the second last corner, he's in the sand and he's going nowhere. Definitely not going to go anywhere. Ash Walsh was way out in front. He had this race blitzed completely and he's, uh, he's out of the race. You're never going to get out of that gravel trap. So the safety car's called, Shay Davies' car. Their team boss Mick Riddle will be very upset if they go near each other, so they'll be taking it pretty easy on the last lap, I think. Speaking from experience? I've felt his wrath on a number of occasions. <laughs> Down at the hairpin for the final time. Andre Burrell there, car number five, that lime green machine really stands out in these sort of conditions. Chas Mostert, way back in the order. He's outside the top ten, and that's not going to be in the championship point, so he's going to have to fight for the title in race three. He needed to finish in the top eight, and he'll be very disappointed to drop back. Since that contact with um, Tom Williamson, it seems as though he's slowly dropped through the field, so maybe a mechanical problem. Jeff Urain, though, on his way through the final corner. He has really adapted to these conditions this weekend, the best of them all, and Urain will get home. It's a Sonic 1-2-3 in race two at Simmons Plains, and that's a driving for the Evans Motorsport Group, and he jumps through to second. He has been a really quiet achiever this weekend. Got a fantastic start. Oh, oh. that's a slide through turn two. That's a terrible part of the track in the rain, because all the burnouts, all the, the rubber from the burnouts and stuff gets very slippery as soon as it gets wet. I thought he was going in the fence, and he probably thought he was too. He's under fire. There's a race win on the line between these two, Jeff Urain and Nick Foster. They're also fighting for second in the championship. It's Urain down the inside into turn six, but the switchback's coming. Nick Foster with the over and under trick, the old over and under. Urain had his first race win in race two, and he'll be keen to get another one before the end of the weekend. They came into this weekend separated by eight points in the championship. Foster second, Urain third, but there's a bit of bragging rights going on here within this team. Yeah, there's no one you want to beat more than your team. Side behind them, Trent Harrison has some new backing this weekend from the Delberto Centaur V8 team. So another of the V8 teams keeping an eye on the young guns, but Waters is in too deep. Waters ran pretty wide there, but he'll still get a good exit and is within tow distance from uh, Urain. So he'll be trying to get a good run down the straight here and get that spot back. You can see that 
it's not a dry line, but it's just coming loose on Harrison's car. That won't be helping him at all. Uh, aerodynamics in these Formula Fords, very important, but Waters and Ashwell side by side down the back straight, last lap. They had those wheels almost into connecting. Now it's a side by side drag race. They're getting closer and closer. Walsh is moving Waters oh, all the way off the road. That's and he's good. in the grass and going through the sand. This is going to hurt. Bang! Into the tyre bundle. And I think Ash Walsh could have given him some more room. That wasn't good driving at all by Ash Walsh. He gave uh, Waters absolutely no space. And on a, such a fast part of the circuit, you've got to give each other room. Moving around in that car, so that's good news for Cameron Waters. His teammate Nick Foster, though, will pick up the win in race three. That's handy as he fights for second in the championship. Jazz Mostert's made it through. He's sealed the championship. but.